So we're going to be going through today a four course menu and what, what I actually did was I put together a menu that included, um, included a dish or a side dish from each of the four regions that he discusses in the book. So we tried to, he's, he's created fusion menus and we fused his fusion menus as well. <laughs> so I don't know, there, I, I guess there's a conversation we could have about that. Um, but let's see, there's menus in each of the different regions. The first chapter is Ginger Lily and Sweet Fire, and that is Asian, um, mostly Thai. The second one is Mediterranean Hillsides and Beaches. The third is Island and Oasis. And the fourth is the Flowering of America. So today we're going to have um, a coconut milk soup from the first menu, and we're going to follow that with um, a side dish of sautéed sweet potatoes and Asian pears that comes from the Americas. And then we are going to do something a little different with one of the recipes that he had in here. He was doing a mahi-mahi grilled with star fruit. So we decided to make it a little more accessible for everyone. We would do a pan-seared chicken for the purposes of this demonstration. And we used papaya instead of star fruit. So what we're trying to do is show you that you can adapt everything to make it work for your dietary restrictions, for your likes, for your abilities, and for the equipment and ingredients you have at home. And then we're going to follow that with a um, spicy cabbage salad as a palate cleanser and a dessert of cantaloupe with minted cream and a blackberry coulis. So, I guess with that, Sean's going to treat us to um, some of the poetry from the book to open. Ginger lily and sweet fire, the click of marble and stainless steel, summer rain on a tin roof, steaming. Outside it rages, crisp, clean, and stormy. So let's go slow, simmer and roast, cook on low heat. Let the hours pass. Savor and cradle the day in our arms, or better yet, let the day hold us. And the book is interspersed with um, Lamar's poetry about food and about the romance of cooking and the romance that can be shared when cooking. So we're gonna we're gonna share some of his poetry. And the first thing we're gonna do maybe is maybe a little romance. Maybe a little romance. There's always <laughs> romance here. Okay. Yeah, it's All right. Books. And the uh, first thing we're going to do is everybody gets to not wait to eat and have some um, some of the coconut. Okay, so there you go. So what do you think you guys like better? Which one do you prefer aesthetically? Mint. Do you like the mint one better? Yeah. It's a little classier looking, isn't it? Okay, so that is, these are our courses. We had our soup course. Why don't we put a little bit of that up so we can, we can take a look at it? Okay, and we've got our soup course, we've got our entree and side dish, we've got our little salad served after the meal, and then we've got a beautiful dessert. That means I have to have everything. Mm -hmm. I ate all the chicken. Here we go. <laughs> See, look at the romance. It's Here. really good. Right. <laughs> Are you feeling the love? That's right. Yes, definitely. Good. Only through food. <laughs> That's too bad. <laughs> I guess the quiet indicates the food is good. Mm -hmm.